And so it was that just eight short months ago, John Malkovich dropped the bombshell that sent shockwaves through the entertainment community. Turning his back on his former profession, Malkovich had to start from scratch and pay his dues all over again as a fledgling puppeteer. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Malkovich. It's, it's the Emmys, uh, really John Malkovich. <laughs> from these inauspicious beginnings, John Malkovich's rise to stardom was fast and furious. His breakout performance occurred at this year's Emmy Awards. Where it's he really good. I look really amazing. I fuck me. If there's anything that upsets me about it, it's feeling like if I move into it too quickly, I'll be, you know, deemed an, an imitator. But um, I think that once, uh, once we all get the courage to just follow through on our instincts like Malkovich has, I think that uh, a lot of us will move into puppetry. Malkovich's rise to fame brought about a renaissance in the art of puppeteering. No, 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 what are you doing? What, what are you doing? I'm making him weep, John. You, you're making him weep, but you yourself are not weeping. Don't ever f with your audience until the, the puppet be, becomes an extension of you. It's, it's a novelty act. It's, it's, a, it's Topo Gijo. No? Come on. He's a technical genius. He breathes life into inanimate objects. It's a very godlike thing, you know, to be able to take something and, you know, make it live. He was the talk of the town, from the Beltway to Broadway, aided in no small part by his new wife and manager, Maxine Lund. In Maxine, Malkovich had found his mentor, his muse, his inspiration. In Malkovich, Maxine had found the love of her life. My dear, relax. This travesty will all be over with by morning. And the crowds have been absolutely sensational. And um, I'd just like to thank God for giving us this opportunity to share our creative vision. Nothing was impossible for John and Maxine.